In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook man coverage in Madden 21, especially the shade over cop over top cover zero meta that a lot of us are facing. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on helping you get better at Madden, take your game to the next level through all the tips and strategies and tactics that I can possibly give you uh, in this game. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about man coverage, but before we jump into that, I do want to encourage you, if you're new to the channel, if you're just checking us out, what I want you to do right now is I want you to go down and join the Discord. The Discord is the best possible place for you to um, get better because again you're going to be playing better competition it's kind of the community hub you're also going to get access to exclusive tips and tricks so if you haven't already make sure to join that discord all right so we all know man coverage is an issue right so uh, these are the coaching adjustments that you want man align play ball route running or speed you can put it by either one it doesn't really matter to me i'll put it by speed zone drops uh, typically they're at 20 yards but we're we're going to show you um we're going to show you a little something uh here with this today but we'll put the zone drops at 20 yards to show you the concept. So the first things first is cover, cover two men. Now the play is out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now my offensive ebook and defensive ebook both are updating tonight. So if you haven't already picked up the competitive bundle guide, you can do that in the description. That is the best guide for the money. Uh, again, we have over, uh, it will be over 100 pa pages by the time I'm done with it. And it is just such a good guide. Okay, so enough about that let's talk about gun doubles so there's a specific route that we're going to run um and the specific route that we're going to run is we're going to run the drag under route which is basically a post uh which is basically a corner post a copo route is what is what it's called and we're going to run it to two different directions i'm going to show it show it with a receiver with ability and with a receiver with the out ability it's basically going to be just fine against either one so the first things first that i do want to get out of here is um this route takes a lot of practice and, and timing okay it's really really important i recommend tom brady or aaron Rodgers at quarterback to throw this because they have pass lead to lead if you're in mutt get dan marino but literally what you're going to do is when mike evans cuts to the outside you're going to throw the ball with the pass lead up into the outside ah already off to a bad start and you're going to high point it. i'm sorry i forgot to say that you're going to high point it uh the high point is what's going to keep you from doing what i just did so right, ah, sometimes he'll do that out of press, which frustrates me. Let me show, let me let me show you. It does work against the shade over top mana. Um, it's better against the shade over top than it is against press. If it does get pressed, um, you're gonna want to be careful with this. But what you're gonna see is, what you're gonna see is the corners are going to basically overplay the post portion of it, and it's gonna allow this window right here. See that right there? You're gonna be able to throw that all day. Now. What your opponent's going to do is they are likely going to drop a zone over on that side of the field. Again, you can throw this consistently. I mean, it's literally a dot, wide open against man every time. If they don't drop a zone over there, it's wide open. If they don't drop a zone over there, there's no point of even like, doing the setup that I'm going to tell you in a second. But literally, you can just throw this over and over again, and there's nothing they can do. You know, I like to smart route it just because it gets open a little bit faster if you smart route it. But you see here, no receiver with ability. It's still a dot. It's still wide open. It's a really, really glitchy route. They can't. It's hard for the defense to click on and make a play on that um, in, a, in a split second type of situation. And again, you can let him go his full depth, or you can smart route him. It's up to you, really. Um, it's not going to make it work worse or better. Uh, as you see there, I can low ball it very consistently with Tom Brady. And it's going to work. Um, it's going to work on both sides. Now, if it does get, if it gets pressed, um, if it gets pressed, you see, I can motion it, but I can only motion him to the middle of the field, so it's not really, it's kind of pointless. Um, if it if it gets pressed, one of the things you might be able to do that's going to help you a little bit with this is if you throw uh, Goodwin onto the line of scrimmage to back off that wide receiver on the left. You're going to see he's going to get a little bit better of an animation, but I just don't like, I just don't like throwing it against press coverage because you get glitchy stuff like what just happened to me uh even if you have a really good receiver if they basically if they win the press animation um it's really really good for them if they lose it it's really really good for you and that's really hard to predict i mean it, it really is press coverage this year i don't see a lot of people running it even though it's kind of good um i think more people should run it but i just feel like it's so susceptible to uh fade fade routes and stuff like that but see right here it still works with scotty miller if unless they just get a complete baggy press animation which is rare but you see you're just going to be able to throw it and I, you've got to click on and catch it right there i was late on my click on and i did not catch it when you click on 
you literally want to just bring him back to the ball. You see there, if it goes on the post like that, don't throw it. And like I said, it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy with the timing. But what I do want to show you is what happens with the zone drop. So we've seen they're gonna. This is part of why people drop their zones. So what you're gonna see here, they're gonna go 20 yards zone drop, and you're gonna see it's still gonna be a wide open dot. It's gonna be wide open. They're not gonna be able to get to it. The zone drops to are, are too high. They're too they're too high uh, for the defense to really do anything about it. And so you're still gonna be able to just pop this ball right out of it against man to man, especially shade coverage over top. Now, what they're probably gonna do, what they're probably gonna do, is they're going to shorten their zone drops to get the safety to come down. Uh, into the play so they're going to shorten their zone drops and i found that 10 yards is going to be the best uh depth 15 at the most uh but let's just go let's just go 15 and we'll show you this so that's what they're going to do to stop this they're going to go their zone drops and i always like to pair this with a streak on the backside because if they're not uh honoring your deep game with the over top coverage you're going to be able to cook it so literally i'm just going to put um like the backside guy is going to be on a fade the running back or the running back will typically be on a little option route or swig route or block and release pattern. All right, so if they drop a flat over there, curl flat zone over there, out of press, this is what it looks like. You see there, um, or not out of press. I'm sorry. If, 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 again, if they press you, if they press you, you're not looking there where you're looking as you're looking at this route of the tight end. Let me show you this really, really quickly. Um, so the route to the tight end is going to be man to man. Uh, right when he cuts, especially the press man. You see there, it's going to be a nice little secure catch for Gronk. Okay. So now what I want to show you is if they're shady coverage over top, which they probably will be, you're going to throw this ball. And you see how the see how before he jumps it? So you can't throw it against, the, you know, most people will just stop throwing the ball. Well, what you can do is you can high point pass it to the outside and you can click on and swerve catch him up the field for an easy uh, dot let me show you this real quick so high point right there you see i can aggressive catch it against uh one on one i can also um if they drop a zone over there you'll see ah You'll see I will be able to get it. I will be able to catch that over top zone. Let me show this to you one more time here. And you do need to work on the timing on this a little bit because it's a very um, sensitive route. Most of the time they're going to uh, play those zones a little bit shorter. See right there. See right there. That was, that was, that was pretty much what we were looking for. Um, I need to get the ball up a little bit more. But the high points this year are kind of glitchy uh, in my opinion. But what you'll see is 15 yards. Ah, okay, let me just show you what you can do. So if they're dropping their zones like that, if they're doing that to you, all you have to do is smart route the route. Because he's still at 15 yards, which is a little bit deeper than I'd like him to get. So you just smart route the route. So they could go a little bit shorter, and he can't play that. That's a wide open dot every time. So what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to, um, they're gonna have to go down to 10 yards. And once they go down to 10 yards to stop this route, which is what they're going to have to do, otherwise you're going to be able to pop that over and over again on the short read. So they're going to have to go down to 10 yards to get you to get the safety down there. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like here real quick. But when they do that, um, that's going to leave them vulnerable to something else. That's going to leave them vulnerable to this user catch that I'm talking about. Uh, and it's really, 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 uh, really, really good in my opinion, especially against cover zero. So you smart route the route. They're going to run theirs at 10 yards. And you're going to see before he's going to be able to get out there and make the play. Okay, perfect. So, you know, that's that's obvious. So now the question is, when you smart route this route, um, what do you do when they can get down on you? Well, what you do is you high point. Uh, let him go his full depth. I'm sorry, I smart route. Let him go his full depth. So uh, you're going to let him go uh, his full depth, and they are going to come at you. Snap of the ball. There it is right there. All day. You can throw that all day. So uh, real quick, let me show you necessarily what I'm talking about. 
And um, I know I threw a lot of interceptions this route. You will throw some interceptions if, if you don't practice at first. Uh, I just found this, but I do want to show you. So watch what happens. Watch the corner. The corner is the key to me. Watch when when Evan when Evan Evans goes out. Watch the corner. See how he's automatically going up. That's going to allow a small a small window for you to throw the ball up into the outside. Okay, up and to the outside, and you're going to be able to be, I mean, it's a really, really good route, especially if you high point it. Up and to the outside, and you see he's going to be able to go. Now, I don't actually recommend, for some reason I'm still aggressive catching this. I don't actually recommend aggressing of the, catch, catching this because you will get catch tackled, as you see right there. What I recommend doing is possession catching it at a high point. Right there, just like that. That's the perfect, perfect execution of that play. And there's just nothing that like the defender is completely out of the play. There's nothing he can do um, on this. And this is press. Uh, I hate I hate the fact that they 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 still don't let run his route on trail. This is just trail two men under. Trail coverage two men under is actually one of the better coverages that nobody's really running. The problem is streaks can beat it if they don't throw corners, and then you can throw outs and stuff like that against it. So anyway, let me, let me come back across. So this is shade coverage over top. So they're trying to prevent the play. And there you see it right there. Now you can actually, and I don't know if I can do this real quick. Let me, let me try to get this as a one play. So you'll actually be able to, um, to get this over the top against man to man. Ah, I got it. You got to high point it. You got to high point it. Otherwise, it doesn't work. If you don't, if you don't high point it, the safety will catch. The, will will just be right in the play. If they drop the zone there, right? If they drop the zone there. So um, anyway, come up, high point it. You see, I can't. I can't quite rack catch it. Can't quite rack catch it. The ball is just a little bit too far out there for me. Um, but if you could rack catch it, it's literally a one play touchdown. I can't quite get it. Can't quite get it. But, and this route works on both sides. I'll show you. Um, so on the right side, I flip this play over here, and you'll see the same same basic concepts going to happen. Right there, and if I possession catch that on the sideline, it's going to be uh, a dot. And let me show you dropping the corner. It's the same thing with Scotty Miller, right? If they don't drop the corner, smart route the route, get your five yards. But if they do, you see Scotty Miller's going. It's actually going to probably work a little bit better against a. Um, my opinion, it's going to work just a little bit better with a receiver like a, like a Chris Godwin type that has the route technician and stuff like that. But uh, what you'll see right there. Now again, make sure you don't aggressive catch it. I don't know why I'm still aggressive catching it. But when you, if you don't aggressive catch it, this is gonna be legit, legit for you in my opinion. It's just a very, very simple route, but it does, what it does to the shade over the top coverage is provides you a consistent opportunity right there that secure catch on the secure catch is going to give you that little basket catching animation and that's going to get you the ball down the field i love this against man to man literally love this against man to man i think high points are very very underrated in madden 21. Uh, i don't see a lot of people running them i think it's just because for years we haven't been able to run them but right here i mean you can't argue with um you'll occasionally get an inaccurate but you can't argue with the results uh, of what this can do against a coverage where it really looks like it's basically box. Now again, if you pass lead this hard enough to the outside, you might not have to pass lead it. Let me show you. Or um, you might not have to low or high point it. I just think it's best to be safe. Um, but I'll show you. And again, the way, the best way to stop this on defense is to run press coverage. But most people don't run press coverage, and most people, when they run press coverage, what they don't remember is they're leaving themselves vulnerable uh, over the top. And right, I mean, pretty much any route over the middle is going to get open against press. 
right there. And you see how he can see how he's got a really, really tight window to get that ball in. But if you practice the timing on this, uh, this is going to definitely help you beat man to man coverage. Guys, we are going to go uh, live tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So if you guys want to see me run this live, you certainly can. Uh, it does work in game, but uh, it's just a really simple concept, but I think a very effective concept. So this is a quick man beating concept from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Remember, my ebook is going to um, release tonight uh, fully for Madden 21, or update, I'm sorry. Uh, so you do want to pick that up. The link is in the description below. Also, guys, if you're looking to get better at bad in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And make sure to join my Discord if you have not already. That's the best place to get most up-to-date information. And guys, we will see you in our next video. We upload four times a day here on the channel, so we got another one coming at you this afternoon.